Raquel Goldie, host of K-Pop Global on Live One, and I'm so excited right now to be saying this. Welcome back, P1 Harmony. Thank you so much for having us. Three, two, three, two, three. Hello, we are P1 Harmony. Now, by the time that you are watching this and everyone is seeing this, your new mini album, Sad Song, will be out for the world to hear. And personally, I have to say, I think you guys are coming off of your biggest year yet as a group. You've also been given a lot more creative direction with this new mini album. Was there a lot of pressure with this or, or how did this kind of make you feel and come together? Um, I feel like definitely burden is one thing because, you know, with Killing It, you know, the love and the appreci appreciation we got from the fans. We also got our first win with Killing It and we just got off one of our biggest tours ever and just being um, in the spotlight with so much love and support from our pieces. I feel like, yes, we were very burdened to create an album that was so much better. And like you said, being so creatively involved as well, we just felt like it was such a big responsibility to kind of give back to the fans that have given us so much love for the past year. And so there was that burden, but there was also that sense of fun and that sense of confidence of knowing that, you know, our fans are going to be there for us and they're going to listen to this album and love it. And, you know, we just had so much fun in the process. So we just can't wait for fans to see it. And we really put all of our energy and love into it. So yeah, we're just very, very excited. And killing it, my verse, like all international fans sending so many love for my girl verse. So I have a pressure, a little bit of pressure. Like uh, I have to be good. I, I have to make a good verse. And like, I have to make a good verse. 바로 때깔 다음에 나온 앨범이다 보니까 사실 음. 워낙 더 새로운 거를 내놔야 한다는 부담감이 조금 있기도 했었고 음. 또 이제 똑같은 2절 파트다 보니까 그런 것도 좀 생각이 되게 많았었는데 그래서 그만큼 더 공을 많이 들이기도 했고 그러다 보니까 그래도 나름 때깔이랑은 또 다른 분위기로 좋은 벌스가 나온 것 같아서 다행이라고 생각합니다. Yeah, so he just said that, you know, his My Root King 2005 verse was so largely and so globally loved by all of our pieces around the world that when we went touring, that was like the large, that was the loudest part of the of the concert because they would all sing that one line. And so he definitely felt that burden of wanting and he just felt like he needed to write another verse for the sad song that can top or just be in the same level of greatness as his My Root King 2005 verse. And so he did feel that burden, but because of that burden, he thinks that he worked so much more harder to you know write a verse that he's really satisfied with and he's really glad with the verse that came out that he wrote for sad song and he can't wait for the fans to hear this new side of it. now sad song is a title track that was co-produced and co-written collectively by all of you what was the process like of making that song and why did you feel like that should be the title track um you know P1 Harmony is always trying to expand their just disc our discography sonically, and we're always trying to expand it um, with the different genres you try to experience experiment with. And I feel like Sad Song especially is a title song where the genre was so specific. And you know, we've never done a song where the genre was so specific that it was kind of a challenge for us, and we didn't know how our voices would sound on top of the demo or the track. But we did a lot of working and we've done a lot of um, a lot of practicing in order to kind of perfect it and also make it P1 Harmony, right? So, you know, making it ours and kind of uh, understanding it in our own way was definitely a task. But we're really, really glad with the way that it turned out. And like you, like you asked, you know, a lot of our members were a part of the, the writing process behind it, too. So it just became so personal to us. And... We just can't wait for our fans to see this new side of us that they've probably never seen before. Hey, I'm normally someone who sometimes the title track is not my favorite. I really am like a B-side girly a lot of the times. But I have to say, this, this mini album, this title track, I'm loving it. I think it's one of my favorite actual title track releases of the year for K-pop. Oh. Yeah, I, I honestly, I listened to it so many times and I was like, whoa, this is it. Thank and, you. and you can hear too, you guys exploring your sound like you've said it. And I even noticed a little bit of like a Latin flair, Latin spice mm -hmm. in the song. So what Latin artists are you loving right now? Or have you like drawn inspiration from? You know, Growing up, you know, Shakira was huge. Like, let's start there. We got to give our, our rest to Shakira. And I feel like also, you know, 
listening to a lot of music, you know, we love Rosalia, we love Bad Bunny. Um, when we were at Golf Ball, also Pesa Pluma also performed at Golf Ball as well, too. Um, you know, there's just so many amazing Latin artists right now that are out and, you know, striving and doing such great things. And, you know, just being music lovers ourselves, we can't ignore that, right? And also, um, during our P1 year tour, we actually went to Latin America for the very first time and just being really able to go to those countries and being able to hear the music there and being able to indulge in the culture and the people and seeing our fans there also really gave us this huge awakening that like, why not? You know what I mean? You know, Latin music is great. And I think that's what just kind of drove us into trying um, something of that genre. What Latin artist would you want to collaborate with? I was in Rosalie. I got Rosalie. It's because it's cool. Don't move. Don't move. I'm too old. What are you doing? I'm too old. So, oh, the model is going to be a fan of artists. So, I'm going to be a fan of the artist. So, Chiung says Rosalia, you know, he has been a huge fan of her for a very long time. You know, when Motomami first came out, we were like, streaming it, listening to it a lot. So Chiyun definitely says um, Rosalia. I mean, for me, I think I'm really just open to anyone, not to sound like, please, like anyone call it, like that's what I'm trying to give up. But also at the same time, you know, we'd be honored to work with anyone from that genre. I think there's this special swag about Latin artists right. and they have like this, I don't know. And there's just something so special about the language. All right. And it's like, I don't know. There's just like so much things to, take notes from, you know? And so working with anyone would be amazing. You mentioned GovBall. I have to ask you, Kiho, how was seeing SZA live, finally? Did your soul leave your body? I literally cried almost three times. <laughs> but like, at like the most randomest parts, I like cried when Supermodel started playing. I almost cried when Garden started playing. And then when she came out to do 20 something, I was like, this is crazy. Like, it's crazy. And I was singing my heart out and it was just so much fun because I feel like, you know, when you grow up with a certain artist, there's this sense of nostalgia when you listen to their music because it takes you back to the time when you first listened to it. And um, just listening to music and thinking about the past and me listening to her music, like in the basement of my home, to now being able to have my own music career, but also see her on stage for the first time. I feel like that development of my life kind of just like flew by my eyes really quickly. And I feel like our fans also feel that about our music too. And because I love music so much and can feel that way about music, I, it also brings a certain responsibility when it comes to releasing our music as well too. Because we would really hope that when our pieces see us live for the first time or when our pieces come and see us, they're able to experience the same things. So, you know, I think being an artist is really important, but also being an artist that loves music is just as important. So. Yeah, it was, it was a really, really fun experience and I would love to do it again. Absolutely, and I think that makes you guys a better artist as well when you're so locked into the artist that you love. I know some K-pop artists have come out and been like, I want to collab with SZA, but SZA, if you are watching this, you got to collab with P1 Harmony. That's that's the collab that's got to happen in, in 2025 exactly. for sure. Exactly. In Talk and Chung Sub, I know that we have our first unit song from the both of you. Uh, again, you wrote on it and produced it. So what was that process like? What did you kind of go into the writing process like? And did you draw inspiration from any of your favorite, you know, hip hop artists and songs? There's a little bit of pressure. It's the first unit song. And In Talk and we wrote all the songs. Yeah, but it's quite simple. It's chorus, chorus and hook making is it's like finish short. it, finish it at like hour. You know, it's very really quite simple and wrote our like several verses and we fix it our beats so many times, like six, seven times. Like we fix it our beats with my producer and beat maker. It's yeah, that's the most hard thing. It's fix a beat and fix it are like they got one on them we got one on them blue beat the four on the jail or song but such a good time but on them monga ma kroki kroki or you only got the option so he said that um generally there wasn't a lot of difficulty creating the song but it was very difficult to kind of create the mood that they wanted. So like even picking between which drum sounds sound good, which bass sound sounds good. You know, it was those kind of smaller details that took a lot of time, but the creation of the music itself was pretty, it came off pretty easily. 
그치 이 곡을 썼을 때뭐 인터뷰도 말해도 되고 영감을 받았던 아 uh, when we like uh the pray make make this song we we hear we heard about very many uh hip hop artists so 뭔가 우리가 듣고 듣고 느끼고 뭔가 배울 수 있는 점이 있는 힙합 아티스트들은 일단 다 찾아봤고 맨 처음에 있어서도 장르를 보는데는 되게 그런 부분에 있어서 고민을 많이 했던 것 같아요. 그래서 특정한 한 사람을 뽑기에는 너무 많은 사람들을 들어보면서 고민을 했던 문제라 거기에서 우리 둘이 선택했을 때 어떤 분위기가 가장 잘 맞을지 선택하는 게 그냥 그, 그 부분이 더 어려웠던 것 같아요. So in Texas, uh. um, you know. When writing this rap unit song, mm. because they're also personally just very big rap lovers, mm. um, they listen to a whole bunch of artists, a lot of different sounds, and even within rap, there's so many sub genres, right? And so listening to the genres that they could um, think of making, and also taking into consideration what kind of sub genre suits them the best too, and also being the first unit to be released under Pew and Harmony's name is definitely a burden that they had to take. But um, figuring out what suits them and then also, you know, tackling it and making it their own was like the biggest, hardest challenge for them. But ever after that big wave, um, they were able to kind of just do it very easily because, you know, they are always writing. This isn't their first time writing and um, writing their own raps and doing stuff like that. So, you know, the writing process came to them very easily. But um, the big general things, that was probably the biggest issue. And it's hard to pinpoint one exact artist because they were listening to so many different artists. And yeah, that was their little experience. Well, Peace, we may or may not be launching a Korean hip hop and R&B station, so you might be able to find okay. the song on the station sometime soon. Ooh, okay. You guys have had the number one album, like we've mentioned, the world tour, you've played Govball. What is something P1 Harmony wants to accomplish in 2025 that they haven't yet? And I have to say, I'm still waiting on the Christmas and Halloween song, so. so what I, mean, I, I, I think, Halloween style some something album is very it's gonna be unique. I think yeah. Oh one day I really wanna uh, make some the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Mm -hmm. Oh Halloween. Oh Oh Jacket people. Oh, Sunday. Good, ah, yeah. Go, 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 Fun to experiment and try different things with the theme of Halloween. So he said that'd be really fun. And Theo said it'd be really cool if there was a unit of the vocal members and we did like a very jazzy Christmas carol, yeah. which I'm totally down for. We love a little jazz. We love Christmas music and pure harmony. So maybe, maybe if we have time this year, yeah. hopefully. Oh, because you know, end of the year is coming. I hope that we can we could uh have a stage like a festival, like a governor's school or Jingle ball that we did last year. Yeah, we're we're so like. So she says, whoever is down to call us <laughs> and book us, we love a festival. So please let us know. Um, I think P1 Harmony. You know, we're very we have good we are fun personalities. We have like whatever like all the external stuff i feel like p1 harmony is like just a fun group to get to know but i also feel like the main and most important thing is that p1 harmony are just really good performers and we love to be on stage and we love to perform so like jiung said um especially in 2025 we would love to be able to have the chance to perform a lot of our new songs and just perform in general in big stages and be able to see our pieces all over the world I'm so happy that I got to chat with you guys. I know it was quick. You guys have a very busy press day, but hopefully I get to see you in person either at the end of the year or in 2025. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. It was so good to see you again. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, how do you do that? I don't know. <gasps> well, I'm trying to like make it happen, not happening. <laughs>
이렇게 이렇게 렛츠고